Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. This is Sir Gabs. And if you are new here, just hit subscribe and click on the notification bell for future videos. Anyway, in this video, we will be talking about the systems of nonlinear equations. So, system of nonlinear equations is a system of two or more equations containing two or more variables of which one of the equations is not linear. Or in other words, at least one equation is not linear. Okay, now example, we have this equation and that's equation 1. The second equation is this. So notice that we have this equation as an equation of a line because the terms are in degree of 1. In here, we have a nonlinear equation because the degree here of this term is in degree of 2. So this equation is not linear. So this is an example of a system of nonlinear equations because at least one equation is nonlinear. Okay? Next, the methods to be used here in our discussion will be substitution method and the elimination method. We have actually the graphing method, but more likely it is being used to, to just verify if there is an intersection or there's none. Now review, we have the general equation of a line. Remember, ax plus by plus c equals 0. If a equals 0, then the line is horizontal. That is, by plus c equals 0. Because, of course, if A is 0, then AX will be um, will not be here. In other words, this becomes 0, so what's left will be BY plus C equals 0. And that is actually representing a horizontal line. If B equals 0, then the line is vertical. That is AX plus C equals 0. So the same way, if B is 0, then BY will not be here. So what's left will be AX plus C equals 0. And that line is representing a vertical line. The general equation of conic sections, as you remember, you have ax squared plus the cy squared plus dx plus ey plus c equals 0. Now, if a or c are equal, it is a circle. If either a or c is 0, it is a parabola. So only one of this, you know, only one of these two should be 0. Otherwise, it becomes a line. So if a is 0, then we have cy squared left. That is still a curve or, not a, or that is considered nonlinear still. Now, if c is 0, then a, a x squared will still be here. So, again, it is still considered a nonlinear. So, um, always remember, only one of them should be 0. Otherwise, if a and c are 0, these two terms will not be here, and this equation will be left, and that is actually an equation of a line. Okay? So, that's only either a or c. If both a and c are positive, it is an ellipse. Okay, and then lastly, if A and C are opposite in sign, it is hyperbola or it is a hyperbola. Uh, remember guys, now we are, we are connecting this nonlinear equations or system of nonlinear equations to our analytic geometry subject. So what we are discussing here is um, intersection of lines and conic sections or intersection of conic sections. So this is quite related to our analytic geometry. And we are limited to, to curves. Um, the curves limited to line, uh, circles, parabolas, ellipses, and hyperbolas. Example, huh? so we have solved the given system of equations given the equations x minus 5 equal, 5y equals 3 and 3x squared plus 3y squared equals 8. Notice that this equation is representing a line because all degrees here of the terms are in degree of 1 or the maximum degree is at degree of 1. Then we have a circle here. Remember, we have the x squared term and the y squared term. And notice that we have the same a and c uh, numerical coefficients. This is actually a and this is actually c. So in other words, this one is representing an equation of a circle. Then, from here, these are the possibilities. So, it can be that there's no intersection or there's no solution at all. It could be that there's only one intersection. That means the line is tangent to the circle, and so we only have one solution. And lastly, it could be that the line is um, intersecting the circle twice, or that, is, or that means we have two solutions. Okay? So, here's our algebraic solution here. I'm just... Uh, taking down this uh, two given two given equations. Now I'll just assume the line is an equation one, and the second equation is our equation two, of course. Okay. So again, I'm just um, labeling this instead of line. I'm, I'm labeling it with equation one, 
and this one is equation 2. Of course, for, for my solution to be organized. Next to that, I can use substitution method. Again, we have two choices. You can use substitution method or you can use elimination method. But if you want to verify, verify first, you may graph this one in a graphing application or a graphing calculator to make sure that there is intersection. Otherwise, if there's no intersection, then that means then there's no solution. Okay, so for me, the use, the um, the uses of or the use, I, I I will be using the graphing application for me to verify if there is an intersection or there's none. If there is intersection, then it could be harder for us, especially if if the coordinates are not whole numbers. So we have to go to algebraic solutions. So that's what we are doing here. By substitution method, I can actually transform the first equation into this, x equals 5y plus 3. So this is just simply additive inverse. Okay, or actually in the, in the, here in the Philippines, we know this one as transposing. So we have x equals 5y plus 3. So I am actually doing this so that I have a certain value of x. And in this case, I have the certain value 5y plus 3. So I will use this value and substitute to the second equation. Okay? Anyway, we are not limited to just manipulating equation 1. Huh? We can also, you can also manipulate equation 2 and then substitute whatever the result is to equation 1. Okay? Because you can interchange the lab labels in this one will be your equation 2 and this one will be your equation 1. So it doesn't matter as long as you are um, you are comfortable with your solution. So as for now, this is my equation 1 and I can transform it this way. And that is the value of x, 5y plus 3. Then I will come up with using equation 2. Because I already manipulated equation 1, then I should be using equation 2 for my uh, substitution method here. Or that's the... the uh, no, that's the... Uh, equation that I will be substituting. So equation 2 will be substituted, the x value of equation 2 will be substituted by 5y plus 3. So we only have one x term here, and that's x squared, 3x squared. So I can substitute 5y plus 3 to the x term, and I will come up with 5, 5y plus 3 squared. Okay? Then after that, I can, of course, I can use special products. And I can expand this, um, this binomial here, or this binomial square. Then I have 25y squared plus 30y plus 9. That's 5y times 5y. That's 25y squared. 5y times 3 is 15. Times 2, you have 30y. And 3 times 3 is 9. So you have 9 here. Then next to that is a distributive property. So just multiply 3 to the whole terms here inside the parentheses. So you have 75y squared plus 90y plus 27. And then just copy 3y squared and equal to 8. Then combine. Um, you have 78y squared. You can combine 75y squared and 3y squared. They are like terms. So I have 58y squared. Then copy 90y. Then plus 27 equals 8. After which, I can actually do the additive inverse. Or you can transpose if you're comfortable with transpose here. So the additive inverse is actually well, just subtracting 8 here to make it 0. So I subtract 8 here on the right side. I also do it on the left side. Okay? The shortcut here in the Philippines, we know it as, again, transposing. Then we have 78y squared plus 90y plus 19 equals 0. So that's why I subtracted 8 here to make this term here 0. And then, uh, of course, I have to um, do it the same on the left side. So 27 minus 8 is actually 19. So that is now my quadratic equation. So to get the value of y, if you are really good in factoring, you can do that. But if you are not, but actually most likely, guys, no, especially if the values are not whole numbers, um, it is advisable to use quadratic formula. Because this is in the form of a quadratic equation, ay squared plus by plus c. Don't confuse yourself. In some of the books or most of the books are using the x variable. That means ax squared plus bx plus c. But notice that we have a y variable here. So obviously, I'm using ay squared plus by plus c equals 0. So the variables are actually not the same all the time. You can, the variables can be any. So in this case, as long as the format is, I mean, as long as the equation is following the format, um, term squared and then the, the term in the degree of 1 and the constant, so just like this one, then that is a quadratic equation. And again, since it is a quadratic equation, I can use a quadratic formula. 
or the quadratic formula. If it's not possible, again, huh? if, it's po if it's not possible to be factored out, then use quadratic formula. It could help you, no? especially if that is, again, if it is not a whole number. So recalling quadratic formula, that's y, that's y equals um, the negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac minus, all over 2a rather. Then from here, I can actually see that the value of a is 78, the value of b is 90, and the value of c is 19. Okay, so from here, this is our a, 78. This is our b, which is 19. And this is our c, which is, nine, sorry, 90 is our b, and then c is, our ni is 19. Okay, then you may substitute. So I only substituted the value of b, which is 90 here. This negative 90 now. And then b squared, of course, that's 90 squared. Minus 4, I just copied 4. And then a is 78, so this becomes 78. And then c is 19, so this is 19. And 2 times a in the denominator, so that should be 2 times 78. Okay? So from here, you may use your calculator. You can sum this up. Or you can combine, rather. So 90 squared minus 4 times 78 times 19 is a square root of 2,172 this time. 2 times 78, we have 156. Okay? Then, you can actually uh, simplify this radical expression into 2 square root of 543. In this case, you may use your calculator for um, faster, faster um, transactions, <laughs> faster process. So, we can now say that there are two values of y. First value is when we use addition, so plus. That's why we have negative 90 plus 2 square root of 543, and then all over 156. The second value is when we use subtraction. So that should be negative 90 minus um, 2 square root of 543 all over 156. Now, using equation 1, guys, uh, we, we actually used equation 2 in the substitution. So basically, we have the values of y sub 1 and y sub 2 right now. The last part, to get the value of x, we have to use this equation 1. Again, we already used equation 2. So we use now equation 1 to get the value of x. Okay? So using equation 1, we have x equals 5y plus 3. We substitute the values of um, y sub 1 and y sub 2. So first, to obtain x sub 1, of course, you have to substitute y sub 1 because this can be an ordered pair in the final, in the final, in the final, um, in the final output. Okay? So again, since we are to get to x sub 1, use also y sub 1 because this is, this is an ordered pair. Now, substitute this value here to the value of y or to the variable y in the equation 1. So that is 5 times negative 90 plus 2 square root of 543 all over 156 plus 3. Then, that should be 9 plus 5 square root of 543 all over 78. So I actually added everything here, including 3. Okay? So I just used my calculator. If you want, you can also do that. Then I have here the approximate value, which is 1.61. Then we have x sub 2. Of course, if we want x sub 2, then same concept. We have to use the y sub 2. Because this can be an ordered pair again. Now, when you substitute, using your calculator, you will come up with 9 minus 5 square root of 543 all over 78, and that's approximately negative 1.38, okay? So from there, you can say, therefore, um, the first pair is 9 plus 5 square root of 543 all over 78. That's the x sub 1. Remember, guys, uh, this is y sub 1. So the ordered pair, the first ordered pair, is this value and this value. So that is 9 plus 5 square root of 543 all over 78, and the y, the y value, which is negative 90, plus 2 square root of 543 all over 156. That's the first pair. And the second is this one. Of course, the x sub 2, 9 minus 5 square root of 543 all over 78. And negative 90 minus 2 square root of 543 all over 156. And these two um, ordered pairs are the solutions to the system. So from here, you can actually... Um, What's this? You can actually check your solution or your solution if it is correct or not. I actually have the Desmos graphing uh, calculator here online. 
So I already encoded all the equations and the answers here. So first, before you started or before I started, I already checked if there is really intersection. So notice that um, this is the given line equation and this is the given equation of the circle. And notice that there are really intersections. There are two intersection. I am expect intersections. I am expecting two intersections. And the problem is, I know this is not a whole number, so I cannot just estimate right away. So what I do, um, what we did no, a while ago, we really solved the exact values and we got these answers. These were the two solutions in our slides a while ago, and we have to check if these are really the intersections. So first, okay, the green point, okay, that is really correct that we have this first intersection, and the other one is this one, the, uh, no, the purple one. In other words, we have these two solutions for the given system of equations. Okay, so we have verified that our answers are correct. That's it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. If you have reached this far, please click subscribe to, to be updated. Also, just click the notification bell for the future videos. Thank you and goodbye.